Okay, boys and girls, today's question comes from Lenny, and Lenny asks, can I get a sign? And that's a pretty common question. I mean, there are so many people who are waiting for a, a sign, some kind of validation, some kind of proof, some kind of a, a permission slip signed in a cosmic way that they're allowed to go forward and do the thing that they've been wanting to do all along. Can I get a sign? And the waiting is the problem. So I'm going to answer that question with another question. You want to know, can I get a sign? My question to you is, what kind of sign do you need? I mean, think about the amazing, miraculous, universal things that had to happen and agree with each other just to put you into this moment where you're watching this silly video. Think about the wonder of your circulatory system or the fact that gravity is a thing. What kind of a sign do you need when you realize that every moment is absolutely, fascinatingly miraculous? What kind of a sign do you need? The sign is you. But that's the thing. I, I think that people interpret signs on their own terms. You know what I mean? I'm quite sure that there were people at the parting of the Red Sea that interpreted it on their own terms, that wanted it to happen on their own terms, who, who didn't want to accept it, and yet there comes the Pharaoh's army and all that kind of stuff that kind of forced them to accept that moment. And I got to tell you, in my own life, there were lots of times when there was amazing things going on and I couldn't accept it until something really bad was on the horizon, some kind of a scary uh, bill paying or catastrophic or heartbreaking or whatever kind of a, a moment was happening. I couldn't accept the signs that were in front of me until I was forced to. Because that's the thing. People accept and anticipate signs on their own terms when the point of a sign is to take you out of yourself. Sometimes it takes what feels like an emergency or even a catastrophe to take us outside of ourselves. But let's get so good at this that we don't require that level of scary stuff in order to step aside, to let our ego and our expectations get out of the way. That's the thing. Let's work on our expectations. Because the sign isn't really the most important thing, is it? You are the most important thing. Your intention, your expectation, your perception, that's what's important. That will enable you to see the signs that are everywhere. The sign is not the most important thing because the sign has already happened. It's in the past and we're interested in the future. The sign is something that has already been made manifest, and that means there's no more power in it. And we're interested in working in the ideal, in the spiritual realm, the, the things that we the think about and the words that we speak and the way that we feel cause manifestation. So if we're looking to manifestation, it's too late. That's the end of the process. Like I said, let's work on our perception. Let's work on our feeling because... The signs that happen all the time, you're going to interpret them based on what you already feel. There were lots of people, there are lots of people who think about that big miracle, that big sign, the, the Easter morning thing, that demonstration of life, of unkillable, victorious life, of triumph over any adversity that Easter morning miracle. There are people that look at that, but because they've got pain in their hearts, they think that the whole point of the story is suffering, which is a little bit like walking out halfway through a movie, but I digress. You see, it's easy to miss the point if you're not working on your expectations. So you want to sign, start working on what you're ready to believe. Start working on what you're ready to see. Start working on you and your perceptions and your expectations. You want to sign, I'll give you a sign. The fact that you're impatient to be shown that's your sign. The fact that you are hungry to move forward and do that thing that you know that you need to do, that's your sign. No more waiting. Right here and right now, the fact that, that no matter what you've been through, you've got love in your heart, that's your sign. Now go show the world what love looks like. Be the sign for somebody else. Thanks for sending me in these questions. If you want to send in more, you can find me at unitysociety.com. Thanks for being a part of this amazing work. Take care of yourself.